It's no, only 30 I, seconds, so yeah. we're <laughs> Yes, I can imagine. Yeah. Being all together, it, you're all young and full of talent, and you're on a show that is really appreciated. I mean, we're so hungry for scripted material that is really uh, about good storytelling. How fun is it to be on the show, Leah? We're having a blast. I think that, I mean, not only are we having such a good time together, we're just really, really proud to be a part of a show that we all believe in so much. And you play Rachel. Yes. You want to tell us a little bit about her? Tell the audience. <laughs> Rachel Berry. Just... She's sort of this self-proclaimed star of the Glee Club, and I say that because she's just given herself that title. And she <laughs> loves the Glee Club. She loves to sing. And um, I think that, you know, this is sort of her journey in discovering herself through the Glee Club. Corey? Hi. What about your character, Jaime? <laughs> you play Finn, the Finn handsome Hudson. football player who's kind of in a dilemma, correct? In a bit of a crunch, yeah. He's been blackmailed to join the Glee Club. So there's a bit of a, a, bit of an edge there. But there's a part of the character, I, maybe I'm too into the show. <laughs> <laughs> Where, no, that's good, that's good. No, but I just think, because I think uh, for high school, for all of us, no matter what age you are, mm -hmm. that you can really hang on to the emotions from that time, because it's really when you're kind of defining who you want to be. No, absolutely, and, and uh, Finn Hudson deals with the stuff that a lot of kids in high school have to deal with, whether mm -hmm. they're going to, you know, uh, cave into peer pressure, whether they're going to chase after what they really believe in, what they yeah. really are passionate about. Because you're a football guy who really does enjoy singing, but exactly. you don't want to say it out loud. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He'd get beat up if he was uh, part of the Glee Club, so. Right. Yeah. Well, it'd be interesting to see how this all unfolds as you're getting, you know, because he is part of the Glee Club, everybody. Wait <laughs> Yeah. Amber, what about your character, Mercedes? She's quite a character. She's quite yeah. a character. She's quite no a character intended. in herself. I think that uh, I've modeled my life after Mercedes. Cause what? She, she's a, a diva, and <laughs> I'm a, a diva. As Wait, Beyonce I heard a study in there. What does a, a diva mean? Real. You know, Beyonce. Right. I'm a, a diva. Yeah. I'm a, a diva. <laughs> <laughs> so, model my life after Mercedes. What was your audition like? Did you just go in and belt out a tune like when you sang Respect? Or? You know, I actually sang my audition. I, I sang Sweet Thing and, and the casting director was like, uh, and I was like, well, what do you want me to sing? And he asked me to sing and I'm telling you from, from Dream Girls and I was terrified, but I did it. So I'm here. <laughs> Question for you. You were you tried out for American Idol, correct? I did. I tried out for American Idol and they gave me a firm, quick, swift no. <laughs> and uh, it was, you know, being told your whole your whole entire life that you're so good and you're so great. And I went in thinking, yeah, they're gonna tell me yes. And it was kind of the no that I needed to kind of work harder. And I'm glad that they told me no because it kind of humbled me a lot and made me work harder. For oh, me. that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> When you auditioned, did you just go in and sing, or did they have you read a part? Um, did you guys have to read and sing? Yeah, we all had to read and sing, and we all have very interesting, exciting audition <laughs> stories. I got into a massive car wreck pulling into the Fox lot for my audition, and I went in there with glass in my hair, and I literally pulled it out of my hair and put it on the table <laughs> and was like, I'm ready to audition now. Um, wow. <laughs> but thankfully, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, that's so, right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Corey? Well, originally when, when they said send a tape of yourself for the part, I sent it from Canada, from Vancouver, where, where I was operating from. I didn't send the singing because I didn't... Operating? Are you a surgeon? I know, right? <laughs> I was operating. Oh, I came out of the operating. <laughs> I was the operating I, You guys, don't think I forgot yeah, you. He helped me after my and car I did a quick act. performance. Yeah. Oh, um, no, wow. I, I, uh, I didn't oh, I sing. I love that when he's distinguished. He has an English accent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's another stereotype yeah. uh, we like, is uh, smart people are English. Anyway. Um, no, but you went in and sang. I went, I didn't... Oh, you didn't, did? You played the drums or something on stuff yeah, at Yeah, I played the drums, because yeah. I'm a drummer, but I didn't cons consider myself a singer, so I didn't send a tape of myself singing. Uh, my agent was like, you have to play the drums on, like, wine glasses and Tupperware in the, in the agency room. Wow. To I show think you might be my dream man. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a little silly, but uh, it got their attention. Yeah, it was always worth it. 
Okay, Matthew. Yes. You play Will, the teacher. I do. And this, yeah, he's a great. <laughs> but you do encompass all of those talents. I mean, it's not like smoke and mirrors with you. You do sing, act, and dance. Yeah, I've been doing Broadway for a very long time, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, if I could have written a part for myself, this would have been it. How great is that? It's great. That yeah. is so nice to hear. And you, I can tell watching that you're really enjoying it, and that's a part of who you are. Absolutely, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You feel I mean, don't you feel close to the character? I mean, it seems like you do. I do. You know, I, I, um, I, I think if I hadn't gone to New York University where I went to school, I probably would have went to Chico State up in Northern California, and I probably would have... <laughs> yeah, Chico State! <laughs> <laughs> but um, I probably would have gone there and gone back to the performing arts high school I went to and become a teacher. That's probably probably would have been my path. That's what I meant. Is that yeah. if, you, if you when you said you know if I could have written a role for myself, it's not only a role to play, but maybe even yeah, in your life. This is a huge acting stretch for me, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's yeah. nice. Well, you're doing a great job. It's a, it's a joy you. to watch. It. Chris. So, Chris, tell us your story. My story? They didn't have the character for your... <laughs> no, no. That you ended up playing. Um, no, I originally auditioned for the part of Artie uh, in the wheelchair, and uh, they didn't want me for Artie, but they liked me, so they uh, wrote this role for me to, uh, to do. Yeah, and you play Kurt. Yes, Kurt, and yes. he's the uh, fashionable soprano. He is. <laughs> he is. He's really fun to watch. Thank really, you. really Thanks. fun. And Kevin, you yes. play Kurt. I do. A character. No, I play Artie. <laughs> I oh, like, you play Artie. I do. I'm sorry. I do. I'm like, I do. Oh play God, Kurt. I was so proud of myself. I'm like, no. gosh, I'm really bad a thousand. I, I agreed with you, and I'm the one playing it, so that's <laughs> okay. worse for me. I... Uh, so you're you're playing a character in a wheelchair. Yes, I am. And how did you prepare for that? I mean, how do you feel about that? Um, you know, it was everyone was like. Oh, you're playing in a wheelchair? Is that weird for you? I'm like, no, it's just part of the character. You know, as an actor, you want something that kind of challenges you. And that was just natural. As soon as I get in that kind of wardrobe and with suspenders and a belt, <laughs> you know, you just, I just kind of get into that. And um, luckily, I got to meet some people in a wheelchair before. I reached out to one of my teachers at school from my high school, and I met with some people. And then I've also met a lot of great people that we went on tour. They all came out, and it was really great to see it. People are like, oh, we're so happy you're playing a character that we can all kind of relate to. We'll be back with more of the cast and crew. Ahead, the cast sticks together through thick and thin. So, what are your parents going to think of this? Uh, yeah. like, oh, oh, Chris, you didn't get one? Oh, hell no. No. I'm just loving the show. I love seeing young people that are so talented and dedicated. And did you guys all hang out together? Like yeah. a little yeah. too much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be fun to go places, though. If people see you together, they must be like, "Oh my gosh, it's there's somebody. There's all of them." <laughs> yeah. It's especially yeah. fun when there's they recognize like one of you. And like Chris and I were someplace yeah. the other day. That's fun. Like, oh, congratulations. We're so happy for you. I'm like, yes, yeah. we are. Like, Good for you. <laughs> Like, I'm right here. Hi. Definitely, if you yeah. see one of us, there's probably another one of us somewhere yeah, around. Right. And this is something that, I mean, talk about a shared experience. When you're all young like this and you're going through this, this will be that time in your life that only only you guys will understand and yeah. be yeah. going through. Yeah, yeah you want to hang on to that. Chris, you sang that song for your audition. Yes, yes, that was my audition song. Yes. And how did you pick that song? How did you know about Chorus Line and everything? You're so young. Um, I, I just grew up doing community theater. Um, I wasn't wearing blue pants in the audition. Let me, let me <laughs> Those yeah. were your clothes? Those were not my... Uh, Tell them, yeah. didn't you say that, like, all... What, what did you say about all the clothes that your character wears? Oh, it's uh, probably, like, half the show's budget, I, I, would, I would say, yeah. Seriously. I think yeah. that the most bizarre thing I wear is a, a see-through Dolce Gabbana raincoat. You're kidding. Is that coming up? Yeah, it's coming up in an episode, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's full length. Yeah. yeah. Full length. Yeah. What do you guys do for fun if you do go out together? Did, did what do you guys get? Did someone you get tattoos? Well, uh, <clears throat> we were. <laughs> Kevin just told his mom, so we're allowed to talk about yes. it. Uh, <laughs> oh no! How did we your mom take that? I convinced him to get a matching tattoo with me. So he's stuck with me now for the rest of his and, life. And Jenna. We are. And Jenna. Wait a second. And Jenna. Are you in yeah. Chicago? And yeah. what yeah. happens? We're, we're in Chicago. We're, we were all out to dinner. Mm -hmm. I tried to get I tried to get everybody to do it, but I only seemed to convince Kevin and Jenna. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, what I mean, happens we, in I was Chicago mentally prepared stay. before. I'm like, I wanted to get a tattoo, and so like, okay, we're out here. Let's let's kind of do this. What is the tattoo? 
It's Imagine. We all get Imagine. Imagine. And it's so funny because Chris came with us. I was like, Chris, you don't have to get a tattoo, but just come with us. And the best was watching Kevin get his tattoo well, and Chris is calmly eye. talking to him through it, and which is great. Well, as soon as the guy starts, Chris is like, so what are your parents going to think of this? Uh, yeah. I was like, oh, oh, goodness, you didn't get one? Oh, hell no. No. <laughs> No, no, no. No needles. No, thank you. But he I was got the there, pizza. which was great. All right. Yeah. What, so where do you have it all in the same? Uh, yeah, mine's on my foot. Kevin's is on the back of his leg, and Jenna's on her arm. Okay. May I suggest no more tattoos? <laughs> I agree. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. You guys, thank you so much for coming on to our show. Fun. too so I can spend more time with each of them. You guys can catch Glee tonight and every Wednesday night on Fox. Make sure you tune in. You're going to really enjoy it. We'll be right back with our 78-year-old columnist, Wanda.